Do you think this color is for me? <laughs> anyway, it's not about me, it's about my socks. Hello everyone, my name is Barbara and I'm a Polish girl who lives in Ireland and likes in it. And today I'm going to show you my finished object, which is my leftovers socks number six. And I know who what the, the yarn is. It is Fiber Nymph Dye Works and the color is Mountain House Winter. So let's start. Okie dokie, so what's that about? What about leftovers sock? Uh, so I would encourage you if you have leftovers, your own ones, or the ones that you got from your knitting friends, which I got from my knitting friends. So it was so much fun to knit with someone else's leftovers. I think I like it more than with my own ones. Uh, because it's like knitting with the second time with the same yarn, which is, you know, it's not bad, but if you can swap or you can get a gift, oh, amazing and especially striped socks what do you think if you're looking for a tutorial this is not a tutorial however at the end of this video I'm going to place um, the link to a tutorial step by step how I knit socks and basically this is the same kind of recipe how I do it so if you've never done it or you're interested how I did it um, definitely check it out and link down below so check the links Okay, I'm completely lost. So let's tell you how I knit this, these socks. I like to knit socks from toe up. So uh, this way, with the, uh, starting with the toe, as you could see, I use different yarn. This yarn is Drops Fable, color 100, fingering weight yarn, or some call it a sock yarn. And I then switch to a different color, and this one is exactly what I said. It is a fiber nymph dye works. On the screen now you can see it and you could also see it's bound uh, because of the blend is 80% support merino 20% nylon and you could see it's a um, mountain house winter beautiful beautiful yarn it was a blush it was a pleasure and a fast knit so I was knitting a tube and then I went to two by two rib and finished with a stretchy bind off went back and I did at the thought heel and also you can find that in a link down put the link down below to that too however in step by step tutorial you have everything from the beginning till the end uh, but also I have a separate one if you're interested how to do at the thought heel um, so over here I did that and the way I do after thought heel is to, I just place the marker, put the needles, cut the yarn. <laughs> um, so even though it's May, um, I really love them. And um, I'm so grateful to have them. So thank you, thank you so much. I would say they're quite a shorties over here. I did 60 rounds, 56 stitches for me. Um, and then I'm, you know, going forward however you may notice that sometimes with my leftovers socks I may have one cuff longer than the other and I think that's the case over here but I found it quite exciting to have one cuff longer than the other because that way we definitely know it was hand knitted <laughs> and at the end of the day you know you just slide one lower and it'll be quite okay uh, so I'm bold that way beautiful. Um, what kind of needles I use? If you ask, well I know the gauge kind of matters so I'm getting normally eight stitches per one inch if you're interested or if you put your sock flat I'm getting nine centimeters. I think nine centimeters. So if you put your sock flat and you get that you're probably uh, knitting socks for me. <laughs> I'm not saying you're using the same number of stitches because that's basically what the gauge is about. It's about the tension you're getting uh, while you're creating stitches. And we're talking about the same fabric now. So nine centimeters flat, that will be the same what I'm getting with 56 stitches. So you can try it, you can see, are we the same kind of tension knitters? Um, I think that's all I'm going to 
stretch it any longer, I would say check my project page down below to Reverly and you will see more. I'm putting links under each to each finished object video. So if you prefer to go to Reverly and watch videos, that's fine. Or on this channel in the playlist, you can find playlist socks and you see more socks. Also other playlists. So if you're looking for something else. I hope you enjoy this one. I hope I haven't forgot about anything. The only thing is I have put all of the yarn into this beautiful bag, Handmade Bags by Diane, but uh, you, I can show you the needles I'm using up here and it's quite unusual and probably that's why I'm in the zone of knitting socks because I'm using nine inches and I'm using one at a time. So you could see I have another leftovers over here. However, uh, those leftovers are like a proper leftover. So I have, I think a proper sock, not like a shorty and I'm using here a pattern. So uh, and that's that, as you can see. So for toes, I'm using magic loop so longer needles but then I switch for nine inches and this is how I keep them interested check the links down below okay now definitely is the end so I hope you enjoyed this one see you next one don't forget to use hashtag knitting I love show me what you're knitting check me out on Instagram so I hope you're going to say you're going to say hi to me and you're going to suggest some other things to do uh, with my knitting needles and what else check those two videos why not bye